principal good afternoon so today before we embark on our discussion on technology why don't we take a moment you know and just pause for a second and just envision a piece of technology we rely on every day it could be anything from your smartphone your smart watch it could be your laptop any gadget for a moment you can close your eyes just pause and envision a day you do not have one of these gadgets probably envision you don't have your smartphone with you today so you can open your eyes challenging wasn't it so there was an era though you know uh when smartphones were not there and they say when the phones were tied to the wire the human being was free but now that we have phones which are wireless human beings are tied to the phones you know now we are tied to technology well as we see evolution and technology have been intermeshed you know human beings have been the most intelligent and the most advanced species on the planet and as we know we are not the strongest or the fastest there are other animals other species on the planet but what makes us different how do we conquer the world how do we have civilizations how do we make empires how did we actually have it all it was probably because we are the smartest so evolution is something which has been a part of us and there was a time when we look at mankind the past present and the future and we are here in only a fleeting moment as we speak today since there was the stone age as we all know and there were tools developed by humans at that time you know which basically helped us to maybe hunt then advanced tools for agrarian societies that laid down the foundation for the agriculture culture then we advanced we made machines we were in the industrial era and today it is the digital era the world the time of ai everything is digitalized and this is the future and probably yeah today we think about things and we say that our ancestors you know probably rode on horses and then we actually rode in cars but then probably yeah tomorrow it could be self driven cars and who would know that there could be a time when we would actually teleport ourselves from one place to another and would not even need to travel anywhere but all this comes at a cost and we know that there are many ethical issues there is a lot of job displacement happening because of tech as we say but isn't it so that we as humans have adapted and advanced so far so what stops us from advancing and acquiring those skills how can we as humans as a society you know think about acquiring those skills and be on the other end why can't we be technology creators more of technology creators rather than technology consumers why can't we be the people who create ai why can't we acquire those skills it's all in us we have come through the stone ages and it is very much possible that we will go forth starting from here as well and of course if we have responsible innovation which actually contributes to the positivity for the society for the betterment so we can actually avoid all the cyber threats all the privacy data issues and everything which actually is a threat to humanity right now also friends i would say that technology in itself is not good and good or bad it's basically like having a knife and a knife in the hand of the doctor can actually save a life and a knife in the hand of someone you know who has wrong ideas could actually be a threat to humanity so technology used in the right way can help us all and we have seen it in the area of healthcare in the area of 
education, we have online classes, we have virtual classrooms, online platforms for learning. And everything has become so much easier. The world, the connectivity of the world has become closer together. But of course, there is something which is right now bothering everyone, and that would be the issue of mental health. Because they say that technology overload, too much of information overload on the new generation is actually creating a havoc. It's creating a lot of stress and anxiety. But as human beings, come to think of it, as compared to our ancestors, we do not face that much of stress. So what can we do as a society so that we use technology in the right direction? One of the things could be that, as they say, as Lord Buddha preached, there is a term called samyak. So samyak means moderation. It means everything done in moderation, a madhyamar, a middle path. So if we could probably follow that middle path, things could get better for us. Because we all know, you know, with social media, with Instagram, the dopamine, you know, it's like raging in our bodies. And that is what is creating a havoc, the stress and the anxiety. So things used in moderation could actually lead to a better way in which we could actually go forth. But can we actually do that? Yes, there would be examples, you know, who have already done that. So why don't we actually start with tech detox? And I think there would be a time when probably there is Alcoholic Anonymous, as you would know, Narcotic Anonymous, and we do hear about tech detox centers. There would be tech detox centers as well. So if we want to avoid all these situations and use technology in the right way, we should be conscious, we should be aware of where we are actually trying to go. And being in awareness and actually getting technology together can actually help humanity go forth. Thank you, friends. Have a conscious time ahead. Thank you.